Sagittarius. I hope that you are doing well. Let's get into your reading. We are going to be freestyling, see it, seeing what spirit wants you to know. I can't speak today. I really can't speak today. <laughs> I keep buckling my words. Hope that you are doing amazing. Hope you've had a good weekend. Um, it was Mothering Sunday yesterday over here in the UK. So happy Mother's Day to you guys. Um, so that was nice. Let's see. Thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, commented and subscribed to my channel. I very much appreciate you. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I'm very grateful for the love and the support that you have shown to me. We're going to be getting a few of these cards here. This is the yin and yang oracle cards. And we're going to be getting into the tarot, the kipper cards and seeing what else I feel drawn to pull. Let's see, messages for Sagittarius. Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel these messages that Sagittarius needs to know for the week ahead. Roles can be reversed. Okay, so I could be picking up on the energy you are exuding. I could be picking up on someone else's energy. Take it as it resonates. Switch the roles as you see fit. Messages for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? We have Ace, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign. We've got Seeds and Spring. Yeah, there's something that could be growing for you here, Sagittarius. Some of you could be reaping the harvest of something that you have done in the past. Um, we are getting into Spring Season. Some of you could be seeing a lot of growth happening around you um, for something that you've done in the past. Or it could be that you're about to plant something that is going to be very fruitful for you. There's something about earthly matters. Could be something to do with your stability, your money, your um, overall growth. Okay. But there's something here that's definitely um, being highlighted to you about your growth, your expansion, your money, things that you are planting, reaping what you sow, if you like, in every sense of the word. Messages for Sagittarius, please, and thank you. We've got Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign or an Air sign. Some of you could definitely be thinking about, you know, things that you can do and what you want to come into fruition. Some of you could be in manifestation mode, okay? Messages for Sag. We have um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius in the reverse, fire sign. Some of you may have stopped dealing with a fire sign in your energy more recently and you're going to be working with or committing to or having some sort of connection to a earth sign or an air sign. Higher self activation is in the reverse. Um, North node, cosmic purpose. There's somebody who you could have disconnected from, possibly a fire sign. Maybe you feel like your intuition, your downloads weren't coming to you. Maybe you felt like this person was serving as a blockage. Self-love creation intentions came out in the upright. I'm telling you, there's something that you are going to be finding is going really well for you. And I feel like this is you working independently from another person that you could have been dealing with. Somebody was serving as a blockage here, Sagittarius, in your energy. And again, this could be a fellow Sagittarius, a Leo or an Aries. There's something that you felt blocked out of. Maybe you felt like you wasn't in tune with your spirit guides, you know, the universe. Maybe you felt like blessings weren't happening or things were coming a little bit more slow. Maybe you felt like you weren't aligned to your purpose with North Node being in the reverse while you was connected to this fire sign. And there's something about you now seeing some sort of fruition coming in after disconnecting from a person. Some of you could have gone on some sort of glow up journey. Some of you could be experiencing some sort of harvest in terms of your finances. Maybe your finances are improving. Maybe you've been putting in more work into your endeavours, you know, things that are going to bring you stability. And this is the time where you're going to be seeing the um, results of that. Some of you could have a body goal that you're working towards as well. You're setting your intentions. Again, there's a manifestation energy. You're creating right now. You could be feeling very creative. We've got confusion in the reverse and illusions. 
Yeah, something, yeah, and change and courage. It's something that you've walked away from, possibly a facade. Could be an old way of being or thinking, but I definitely see that there's an energy of you walking away from a fire sign or you needing to. Take it as it resonates. We have cycles, completion and change. We have messages and dreams. I'm telling you, there's something that you was perpetually doing, going around in a circle with a person, doing the same thing over and over, and it wasn't getting you a different result. And there's something that you're realizing was causing a blockage. Your dreams, dream state being in the reverse is not a good thing, especially with the North Node in the reverse. Activation, higher self in the reverse. Somebody was not aligning to your purpose. Somebody didn't somebody can't go along with you and i feel like this is what you're either going to be realizing or something that you've realized already and you've cut someone off nurture compassion i feel like you're going to be meeting somebody else or another group of people this doesn't have to be romantic who is going to be helping you to be in the right energy to receive memories and nostalgia in the reverse i feel like you're not regretting this decision decision either if you were thinking about an individual this is something of the past Someone was a blockage to you, and I feel like you're going to be realising this. Somebody was stopping you from reaching some sort of higher level of purpose. We can't take everybody with us, and this is what this is. This is this is the energy. In order for you to step into some sort of higher activation, elevation for yourself, you're realising that somebody could have been slowing down your boat, slowing down the horse. You know, you could have been um, the driving force behind it, and now you're going to be seeing the fruits of your labour because you've done this. Let's take a look. Messages for Sagittarius. Again, disconnecting from a fire sign, I'm seeing, and connecting with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you're going to be working with these signs coming up here. Or it could just be that your creativity, take it as it resonates, it could just be the energy where you can think a bit more um, clearly, where your ideas are coming to you, when you, where your mind is a little bit more sharp, your intuition is switching back on, you know, your um, mind state is going to things that are going to be helping you to grow because the blockage has been removed or whatever was stopping you from getting on your path on your um on your to your purpose is no longer there so it's like it's 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 cleared the runway if you like to land some of you could be dealing with an earth sign coming up here as well take it as it resonates but i just see a lot of fruition coming for you after disconnecting from something that was not helping you to grow or your fruition yeah a high priestess your intuition is returning if it was blocked that blockage is being removed messages for sagittarius please we've got the six of cups and we have the knight of cups the star card and the six of pentacles we have the five of wands the seven of swords the knight of swords and the wild cards some of you Sagittarians are opening up to giving your energy elsewhere, your time elsewhere. There's something about you redirecting your resources, your energy, your time with the six of pentacles. Um, you could be very being very generous with what you've got going on. Maybe you've got it to give. Maybe you're giving to ch charity. Maybe you're doing a lot for the community right now because you've got it. A lot of you are going to be stepping into some sort of, um, for some of you, it is fame, stardom. Um being in the limelight okay a lot of people are going to be viewing you as somebody who's extremely resourceful and helpful coming up here um some of you could be dealing with a uh, aries no i was gonna say aquarius and aries came out of my mouth aquarius you could be dealing with an aries if that's for you take it the knight of cups is here some of you could be dealing with a water sign here um bottom of the deck we've got the ace of cups a lot of you could be exuding a lot of generosity here i'm just getting a big energy of you've got enough to give you've got enough to flow with you know this doesn't necessarily have to just be resources i see all around i see that your feelings your emotions your heart chakra is very balanced you've got um yeah the lovers 
Yeah. Somebody's very regretful though. Somebody regrets something in the past. Something could have been illuminated. Something about a Leo specifically or an Earth sign. Again, there's that fire sign energy. You could have left someone in the past. There's something about you being able, able to give emotionally to new things and you being able to physically give to new things, okay? Because you've cleared the path. Some of you are definitely going on to some sort of new beginning. You've closed out a past cycle, possibly of overgiving. If you was a person who may have overextended yourself to people or a specific person in your energy, maybe something was one-sided. Maybe you feel like you were always giving to something and something wasn't really changing in a dynamic. You could have gone through um, a cycle with an individual that is now closed or coming to a close. Um, you could be stepping into some sort of... Um, energy of being celebrated here with the star card with the knight of swords you're ruffling feathers with this okay you could be doing something that's a little bit out of the box for example you could be stepping on a platform you know using your voice somehow you could be saying something that is going to be ruffling feathers for example some might say that tarot could ruffle feathers because you're speaking truth okay you're reading cards especially if you're well i would hope that you're high vibrational okay your karma depends on it um, in terms of, you know, the reading and not projecting and things like that, you know, reading the cards, being intuitive, giving clear and accurate messages, you know, um, your intentions behind what you're doing type of energy. There's something here about you maybe putting yourself out there and people not really liking it because it's, it's, it's kind of causing a stir. This could be causing a stir with an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius, doesn't have to be though, but you're ruffling feathers with your um, stepping out there, you know, being in the spotlight. Um, and this could be somebody who you was connected to. This could be the same person who you've closed out this cycle with. In the past, there was a lot of deception around you. Um, you could have befriended somebody. Somebody could have befriended you. Um, things could have been really nice, um, seemingly on the surface. We're going to clarify what this Seven of Swords with. Something became um, tarnished, if you like. You know, somebody could have lied and it could have ruined a connection, a really good connection. This could have been a soulmate, um, some sort of past life connection, somebody who was deceptive with you, okay, with the Knight of Cups and the Five of Wands, somebody's returning, somebody's coming back to maybe make nice with you, this doesn't necessarily mean to be a reconciliation where you're going to be romantically involved, somebody's definitely coming back to apologize for some sort of conflict that they feel like they've caused um, to you, Sagittarius, with the Five of Wands, there could have been a lot of drama associated with this person, maybe this person has, has got a lot of people around them that um, could have convoluted a situation or made things more difficult, or you could feel, feel like a lot of people around this person bring drama, so you may have distanced yourself, this is a person who's coming in to apologise for some sort of conflict that they may have played a part that they could have played in a situation between you and them, this could be a fire sign or a water sign, Tell me who that person is. This could be the same person that you closed out a cycle with. Tell me who this Knight of Cups and the Five of Wands is here. The Sag. The King of Swords in the reverse. This could have been an extremely argumentative, mean person. Somebody could have been very cold. They could have been very cold. This could have been a person who added fuel to a fire. If there was a conflict involved between you and another person, there could have been someone who was stirring the pot here to make things worse. Um, it wasn't a good energy and I feel like this is the reason why you've distanced yourself I feel like this person is very much aware of the part that they played within some sort of conflict as well the four of wands some of you could have had to have left a home a home that was very toxic there could have been somebody extremely domineering and controlling possibly narcissistic tendencies here somebody could have been a troublemaker The Nine of Cups, extremely self-indulgent person, very, very selfish. They're only out for themselves. Is this this person that's coming in to apologise or is this someone attached to this person? The Nine of Pentacles, Two of Swords. I feel like the person that you're dealing with has closed out a cycle with somebody in their life. This could be somebody who's older than them, some sort of authoritative figure it doesn't have to be. This could be a masculine energy who was causing problems for you and this person. This person is going independent. The nine of pentacles and the two of swords. There's someone who they're walking away from. And this is a person who's realizing the conflict that this person could have caused between the two of you. It's like there was somebody who could have been stirring the pot, adding chili, adding sugar, 
adding salt to a pot that just didn't need anything extra, okay? There were too many people involved in a situation that made something harder. And this person who's coming towards you to apologize is closing out something with somebody else. They're kind of... Um, leaving someone out in the cold who may have caused issues, who may have been narcissistic, who could be controlling, who could have been very selfish and they didn't realise it before and they're realising that, well, no, I need to actually block this person out of my energy um, because they're causing trouble in my life. They're causing conflict in my life, especially between you and them, Sagittarius. Tell me more about that. Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is someone who's going to be telling you about this. They could have found out a truth. They could have found out this person's intentions, this person's motives. They could have realized that trouble seems to follow this person. And whenever they involve this person in their endeavors, in their life, whenever they give them control, if you like, this could be a parent. This could be anybody to this person, an overbearing person. But they're very mean. This person's extremely mean. They are a person who will ruin things for other people, okay, just because. And this, this is a person who's realising this about this person. They're realising somebody's very selfish. They're realising the drama that they bring. The Queen of Swords, yeah. For some of you, it could be a mother figure. Doesn't have to be, though. But whoever this is, this is someone who is um, extremely horrible. They're not a nice person. And I feel like this person's realizing being attached to this person or having this person in their life, in their circle, is actually not really serving them because they're causing a lot of conflict for this person. And this could have been a person who caused conflict between you and this, this person who's coming towards you, your person. The Page of Wands. Yeah, there's communication here. Somebody still definitely wants to make nice with you, still be in your energy, but whether or not you're going to allow this, because I feel like you view this person as drama because of who was around them. Seven of Swords. Somebody could have been lying about you. The Fool card. I feel like you had to move away from some sort of deceptive past. Um, again, maybe if this was a romantic person you was involved with, if you shared a connection with a person, there could have been somebody who was pulling strings behind the scenes, making something, uh, spreading lies, gossip, rumours here. And with the full card, this is a person who was acting like they weren't attached to the situation, throwing rocks, hiding hands. This could have been a very nonchalant person. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. The whole time they're being the king of swords in the reverse. They're being a mean-spirited a-hole. OK, this could be somebody who's, you know, headphones on, about to jump off the cliff, acting as though they're not doing anything. I'm hearing whistling, you know, I'm not doing anything. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're doing a lot. They're causing drama. They're causing conflict. This could be a person who wanted to ruin a connection as well between you and another person. And it, it was successful because you've now closed out this, whatever this is, with this person. Somebody was serving as a blockage within a union or a connection or something coming together. There was no peace here. Death card, yeah. This person's lies, deception, meddling, ended a connection. This could be a Scorpio. But they acted like they weren't involved. But somebody who's coming towards you is realising this person's involvement was kind of more than what maybe they, they, they saw in the past. This is someone who is freeing themselves from this person or even if this is if this is a family member of theirs or someone who they have to be connected to in some way, they're kind of demoting the control that this person holds in their life. This is a person who is not allowing this person to be so involved, take some sort of front, front seat in their connections, in their endeavours, in their goings on. Because this person's realising that it could have caused a demise or they're causing a lot of conflict. And I feel like this has happened more than one time that trouble has been caused by this individual. And it's messing things up for this person and it has messed things up between you and them. The justice. This is somebody who's coming in to make something right with you because they realise who is the more stable, grounded one. Who has peace? I feel like this person's looking at you as somebody who's doing extremely well. You are attaining some sort of level of success. And that wouldn't be possible if you were in the five of wands energy. Meanwhile, this person could be looking at this king of swords in the reverse and realising the four of swords, that this is someone who they need to withdraw from. 
This is somebody who could need to heal. Queen of Pentacles. And they're looking over at you and it's like actions, life purpose, things that are going on in people's lives are telling the story. You know, sometimes words are not needed. Sometimes things are better left unsaid. And this is a person who's realising through actions, through watching people, through what... This person's really thinking deep, okay? Who's coming towards you to apologise. This is a person who's actually looking deeper. They're looking at... Possibly this person could be researching spiritual things as well. Spirituality, you know, the deeper purpose, higher level of knowing. And this could have been a person who wasn't necessarily woke in the past or was closed off, who was about the 3D. You know, they weren't about looking at any other perspectives, any wider learning, any wider thought process. You know, this is a person who's opening, opening up. And through that opening up, it's like, they're seeing people, places, things very differently around them. And this is a person who may not be doing a lot of talking, but this is a person who's actually looking at people, what they've got going on in their life, dissecting things, the way people act, the way people behave, things that are being said to them. Especially if this person has had a predominant place in this person's life who's been causing this conflict. This is a person who's now looking at this person kind of with a... a, a, a small tooth comb, I was going to say wide tooth comb, small tooth comb, dissecting, sorting, compartmentalizing, looking at the me mechanisms and the reasons as to why people behave the way that they do and why this could have happened and why that was said and why this person acts like this and why that. This person's questioning things and this is a person who's coming towards you because they're seeing you they're seeing you in this energy of giving, this energy of being very um, generous. You could be doing a lot for the community. You could be standing on some sort of pedestal platform here. And this is a person who's actually, um, they're making a comparison. Um, but I don't think that this person who's in their corner is a, ro a romantic person. I feel like this could be a family member. They're very closely involved with this person or connected. Um, and I feel like this could be somebody who you had a connection with. They definitely see you, you in your glory, okay? This person's looking at things from a new perspective, a spiritual perspective. And you could be the catalyst for this. The Queen of Cups and the Six of Swords, they're realising that the peace resides where you're at. They're realising... This is a person who may not have seen you for who you were in the past, Sagittarius, the Queen of Swords. This could have been a person who felt like you was very cold, somebody who was maybe mean, but now they're seeing who the mean person is. This is a person who may have had you effed up. They may have totally confused your character, but it's like the distance that has assumed between the two of you, bet between the two of you since something has closed out and the cycle is over. This is a person who's now realizing, oh my gosh, why didn't I see this before? Six of Swords, the Queen of Cups, they're realizing it's peaceful. You've moved away from some sort of chaos drama and it's like the waters are still where you are. You are calm. You are collected. You are stable. You don't get mixed up in drama. Queen of Cups. Very, very calm, compassionate, patient person. And if anything, you're now kind of exuding that and giving that to other people, sharing that because you've got it to give. And with the star energy, somebody sees your light. Somebody sees how... Um, well you're doing and this is a person who's looking back at people around them um, a specific individual and they're realizing well no maybe I was wrong about you not Sagittarius some of you could have heavy water in your chart they're feeling uncomfortable they're feeling uncomfortable this is a person who's having a realization yeah This is a person who's holding back from coming forward because this is a person who possibly has to hold their tail between their legs now. This could have been a person who may have overlooked you, didn't listen to you, especially if you were trying to warn somebody about somebody around them as well. They're realising, you know, this person wasn't being mean. This person wasn't being a hater. 
everything is fine and this person could have betrayed you possibly chosen to go in that corner rather than come to your corner but what they're realizing is your corner yeah you've got new beginnings you've got growth with the empress this person is extremely attracted to you and your abundance how grounded you are if you are a parent this person finds you to be an extremely good mother or father this is somebody who's seen new beginnings happen for you this is somebody who sees that you are extremely attractive. You're attracting a lot of good things. And this is a person who could have sabotaged, ended a connection prematurely, not looking at the facts. But this is a person who's going within and they're not liking what they're finding. This person could be going through a dark night of the soul. The way that I'm telling you, Sagittarius, this could be a Virgo. The way that this person is unpicking things right now is on a very intricate level. And this is the type of intricacy that this person didn't have before. They didn't do this before. But something's happening and shifting in this person's mind to actually open up to a new way of seeing things. And again, some things are better left unsaid. A lot can be said from for how you kind of view people in the direction that they're going in their life, how they live their life, what they do, who they speak to what they involve themselves with. Does this person have a lot of chaos around them? Do they not? Do they keep their mouth shut? Are they out there loud, out here, everywhere? Does everybody know them? You know, there's ways to establish who someone is. And this is a person who's actually doing that process in their mind with somebody who's in their camp, somebody who could have been heavily involved in a connection that you had with them. And they're looking over at you saying, wow, if Sagittarius was all of those things that this person could have been lying or saying about this person, why is Sagittarius living so peacefully and free? The world? Temperance. Peace. Page of Wands. Somebody is very attracted to how zen you are and how peaceful you are. This person could want to come in and offer you something, especially if this, I, I do see that this is a, a past person. Yeah, somebody wanted to kind of sabotage a divine union. This person could have been extremely jealous of someone coming towards you here. Look at this, jealousy, shady crap going on behind the scenes with the moon card. This person was lying, cheating, stealing, whatever this was, lying. They didn't want this person to come towards you. They wanted to stop this divine union, but this was a, was a divine gift. And somebody's realizing this now. This person's extremely attractive to how peaceful you are. It's very peaceful where you are, Sagittarius. This is your energy. This person's attracted to how balanced you are. The level of stability and equilibrium that you are assuming in your life, they're very attracted to this. But this is a person who didn't see it in the past because somebody was confusing them. Somebody was up in this person's ear, talking a whole lot of rubbish, involving themselves where they have no business involving themselves. And this is a person who's realising something about someone around them. Mature woman is at the bottom of the deck. This could have been a mother figure. Their mother, possibly. An auntie. Sibling. Somebody older than them. Concern. Journey. This person's worried about coming towards you, coming forward. They feel like you're not going to accept the apology. Main male. This could be a masculine energy that's coming towards you. They're concerned about how this is going to be received. Because I feel like they're going to be speaking to you about stuff that you already brought to their attention. This is someone who you possibly tried to warn. Expectation. Message. Expect to hear from this person. DM. Message. Call. Letters. Do people still send letters? Email. Whichever form of contact. Expect to hear from someone coming towards you. They're very worried about coming towards you. This is a masculine privileged lady when i say they see you they see you some things are better left unsaid especially if you walked away in silence and you said nothing house they could be coming to your house if they know where you live 
This person could be sending something to your house, sending a message to your house or showing up. Family room. Could be family that was involved here. Sudden wealth. Bad health in the reverse. I feel like you've cleansed your energy of this. I feel like you really, you, yeah, thoughts are in the reverse. This could be someone who you don't even think about anymore. This might not be someone who you're even expecting to hear from. Gift. I just feel like you're onto bigger and better. I feel like maybe your health has improved since distancing from this. I feel like you view this situation as toxic drama. And again, there's an energy here of you knowing and trying to tell someone something and then possibly not believing you or betraying you, going over you to stick with whoever this was, to take someone's side maybe. And you kind of walked away in silence here. I'm seeing peace being restored. I'm seeing good health, better health. I'm seeing this person being a distant memory. And you chose yourself, sudden wealth, privileged lady. It looks good where you're at. And this is a person who's heavily thinking about you. Expect a call or a message from this person. This person is extremely worried as to how this is going to be received, but they're coming towards you. That's what I have for you, Sag. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, thank you for watching. I will see you soon. You take care. Bye.